Hi, this is Tom Oding, the University of Iowa. I'm going to show you a classic technique that everyone needs to know how to do, and that's to fix an inocular lens to the iris. As was described initially uh, by Chang using a seeps or sliding knot. First, you make paracentesis, which are easily accessible and oriented towards the iris at 3 and 9 o'clock, because this is where we're going to fix the IOL. Now, this three-piece inocular lens is loose in the sulcus and so we're lifting it up with the myocal cannula and we're going to place myocal simultaneously so that the optic is captured by the iris. And now we're going to place this long curved needle, a CTC6L needle with 10 proline. We're going to go through the cornea, we're going to go through the iris underneath the haptic and then we're going to come back up underneath the haptic through the iris and then out through the cornea. It doesn't really matter where you come out. Now we're going to use a little visco to better define the haptic here. And we're going to go through the cornea again through the iris underneath the haptic back out through the iris again and then come out through the cornea. It doesn't matter where you come out. So now we've got two sutures which are going through the cornea under the haptic and back out again so the, the lens is fairly secure. And now what we need to do is get that free end on the right through the paracentesis. And so we're going to go in with the Kuglin hook and we're going to get that close pass and pull it out so that this pass is going through the paracentesis so that the free end on the right side is going through the paracentesis. So we're pulling that all the way through. So now we have a pass which goes through the paracentesis and the other pass um, goes out where it came out initially. And now we're going to take a loop from the left side and we're going to pull it through so that we have just a loop also going through the paracentesis. So now we have a loop through the paracentesis and we have a free end through the paracentesis. We're going to wrap on the iris side of the loop. We're going to go around three times and now we're going to grab the free end. And so now as we pull the free end through that wrapped suture and pull on the other free end on the left, the knot will go inside the eye and will come down tight, tying the iris to the haptic. And so now we're going to do this again two more times. We're going to go in again with a Kuglin hook. We're going to pull a loop out and we're going to set that loop up and get the free end set up so we can easily grab it. And now we're going to wrap the suture around the forcep. We're going to go around two times here, getting the free end in the forcep, pulling it through the loops of suture, and then pulling the two free ends on either side so that the knot goes down inside the eye. And now one more final time. We're going to go in there and grab a loop and pull it out. And we're going to wrap the suture around the forcep. We're going to go the other direction this time to make it square on the top and we're going to pull it down and bring the knot inside the eye. We've got to do the other side too. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side, but we're only going to show a bit of it. So we're going to go three, I usually go three, two, two, or three, two, one. Here you can go, we did the other side. Now we're going to use some duet scissors to try to cut this suture right at the knot. And now for the most fun of all, where we have to trust that our work actually worked, that this actually is sutured to the iris, we're going to use a Kuglin hook and we're going to push that optic back behind the iris. And initially there's a fair amount of uh, oval nature to the iris, but often this works itself out a bit. And you can see that here, after we've filled up the eye with BSS, that the iris is much more round. Well, this is Tom Moding at the University of Iowa. I hope this is useful for you to see how to use 
10L-proline to secure the iris to an inocular lens. Thank you very much.